What's up, folks? Appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. So you got an interview lined up and you're nervous, right? Just like everybody else. Most people are very, very nervous for interviews uh, because it's, it's literally you sitting in a room and trying to convince someone to give you money. And they have no idea who you are. And you have 30 to 45 minutes. And sometimes if it's crazy, you know, four hours to, to prove that you deserve their money, right? Essentially, that's what you're asking for. So yes, yes, I'm nervous at every single interview until I sit down and I actually get to talking. Uh, I actually love talking. So once I start talking, I, I, I'm not as nervous. But one thing, or there's a bunch of things that I, I try to do before the interview to make me feel a little bit more confident before I get in there. So obviously you want to fake it till you make it, right? So being confident is, is not something you could just wake up and say, I'm going to be confident in this interview and it's going to work out. Cause that, that it just, it takes practice, right? I've been, I've been lucky enough to be in a whole lot of interviews. Um, I, I'll, I'll, man, it, it's been a lot, right? Both as the interviewee and as a interviewer, as part of an interview team, as the sole hiring manager, in a bunch of different situations, I've been in that interview room multiple times, and and more often than than not, there's nerves, right? Especially for the interviewee. So, to eliminate a lot of those nerves before you walk in the room, be prepared. Do some research on the company. Do research on the role. Uh, study a little bit. So I've interviewed for a lot of technical roles. So if you're interviewing for a technical role, you know you're going to be asked technical questions. Study. Try to be as prepared as possible for whatever question that they may ask. So of course you have no idea what question they're going to ask. But you know what? The internet might. So Google it. Look through Glassdoor. Look through Indeed. Look through LinkedIn. Look through YouTube. Look through Facebook. Just just every forum that you you find related to that job description or that um, the the, uh, the the role, the, the title of that role in the organization. And just, you know, start taking notes and trying to figure out, you know, what you think they're looking for in their their next person in that role. Look through Glassdoor to kind of look through, um, you know, look through people's comments on on the company. So if you if it's a larger organization that has a lot of comments, you're going to have to, you know, kind of go through a bunch of pages and just look for a comment from someone that's probably in the role that you're in or or has occupied the role that you're applying for in, in the past and try to get a feel for it. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of negative stuff, but try to try to read between the lines as much as you can and just get a, a good feel as best you can. But what that's going to do is when you get into the interview room, you're going to be able to talk educatedly about, is that a word? Not sure, but you'll be able to, to speak um, uh, knowledgeable about the the role and the organization and you want to do that. They, they'll probably ask you, have you have you heard about us? Do you know what we do? That kind of stuff. And you'll be able to answer that. So make sure you 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 prepare yourself and you do your research on the organization and do your research on that role. Obviously, if you're lucky enough to to know someone that works at the company, talk to them. Uh, get that get that knowledge. Uh, leverage their their experience in the organization to bring that to the interview. You don't necessarily have to use that person as a reference if you don't want to, but you can definitely talk to some of their experiences and how you understand because you have you know someone that works in that organization that has um, have given you some of that information so that's always a positive thing you want to make sure that you're listening well so be attentive in the interview listen ask questions be interactive you know throw in some ad libs make sure you let them know how how some of your previous experiences align very well with what's in the job description. Make sure you ask for clarification on things that you're not sure of. Just just make sure you're being an active participant in the conversation and you're not just sitting back like, all right, ask me a question and, uh, and I'll answer it. You, you, wanna, you wanna anticipate what the next question may be. You want to elaborate your answer. So they ask you a question, um, why should we hire you? Well, I think I'm a hardworking individual and and I really uh, appreciate this type of work and I think I'll be a great fit on the team. Go into why. I'd be a great fit on the team because I, I think I have an excellent personality. I, I, uh, I get along with all sorts of people. Um, I come from a very diverse background. In my previous role, I was able to do this, this, and this. Um, at home, in my personal life, I do all these things and I think it really helps me to be um, to, to be a very personable person and something I'm very passionate about. And you've just given like a 30 to 45 second answer from a very simple question that most people would just say, well, I think I'll be a good fit, 
right? So you want to elaborate as much as you can. So the easiest way to to um, to show that you're involved in the conversation is to ask questions based on some of the questions that they that they've asked you. So bring a notebook with you. Write down some of the questions that you may have along the way, but you know just just make sure you have some questions to ask. I can't tell you how many times that I've been in an interview as the interviewer and as the interviewee. All right, so I've done a lot of talking now. What questions do you have for me? What what questions can I answer? Are there anything specific you'd like to know about the department? Anything specific you'd like to know about the organization? And the interviewee says, "Oh no, well you've you've done such a great job explaining everything. I don't have any questions." That is not that's not a great response. You want to make sure you have questions. You should have questions, right? You should have questions about, um, you know, what are the, the expectations? What does success look like in 30 days? Um, you know, how long have you been interviewing for this role? Um, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of generic questions you can ask too. Uh, do you guys allow work from home? Um, do you do you guys do any tuition reimbursement? Is there any room for growth? Uh, how long have you been in your role? Can you tell me a little bit about the company culture? Those types of things you can ask in any organization, any interview, no matter what the role is about. Just make sure you have some questions. And if you bring that notebook with you, you have those questions written down, obviously you won't forget them um, after the end of the interview when it's time to ask them because that's another big thing that I, I found early in, in my interviewing career is that I would have all these questions prepared in my mind. But once you get to get down to the end of the interview, you've answered all these questions, you've done all this this talking with your with the hiring team, and you've forgotten the question that you wanted to ask. So make sure you write them down, and that just goes to that being prepared. So be prepared. Have your have your notes. Have your notebook. Have multiple copies of your resume. It doesn't matter if you've already emailed the resume to the hiring manager or to the recruiter, or if you know it that it's listed on LinkedIn. Make sure you have copies of your resume. Uh, you'll probably not give them out. But I've been in situations where someone comes into the room and says, oh, man, I don't have a copy of your resume. I'll be right back. And you can be now. Here you go. Here it is right here. And um, show that you're prepared. Dress well. So I like to wear a collared shirt and a tie to an interview. Right. Maybe that's old school. I don't think so. I think um, presenting yourself well physically is 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 really a, a key thing to to kind of show the hiring team that you're serious about the role that you've taken that extra time to to look nice for the interview so you don't have to spend a lot of money right you don't have to go and 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 spend a hundred two hundred dollars on a suit from from wherever to um to for the interview uh, my first few interviews i got i had one interview outfit for man i want to say like a year or two and I wore it to every interview to the point where I thought it was my lucky interview outfit and it didn't even fit anymore. But I was still wearing it to interviews because I thought it was lucky. But I, I bought a shirt from um, uh, K&G, which is a discount store. I bought pants from Walmart. I got a tie from Walmart. And um, I'm not sure what I had for dress shoes, probably pay less. But I'm sure the outfit was less than like 50, 60 bucks. And I wore it all the time. And, you know, and... When I would walk into an interview room, a lot of folks would say, oh, hey, you look nice. Uh, thank you for dressing up. I literally got a thank you for dressing up at an interview before. So it's very important. My last interview, right, I get into the interview room with, uh, with the, the interview panel. It's like eight or nine people. And the VP just, he says, were you just outside walking around the building? You know what? I know you were outside because I saw, I said to myself, that is the best dressed guy that I've seen in this building in a long time. And to me, of course, it just, um, it, it relaxed me a little bit, right? So I was extremely nervous for that interview, but once I got that, it was kind of like an icebreaker. It's like, oh, all right, cool. I know I did one thing well so far, right? So I think it's very important to dress well. Another thing that's really important is to be positive. Be extremely positive. Be positive to your previous employer. Be positive about your previous coworkers. Be positive about your previous uh, life experiences. Be positive about about the new role that, that you're hoping to uh, to 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 uh to gain to gain rather um i've heard plenty of plenty of times interviewees say things about negative things about their previous employer about how the their previous manager may not have been that great at their job uh maybe that person um was a little too overbearing maybe that person just didn't 
you know, have everyone's best interests at heart. That's nothing that your new manager should know, right? Those types of things should be left between you and your previous employer. Obviously, there's a reason why you're looking for a new job. Maybe you're just looking for to to grow in your career for that next that next uh, experience. But sometimes, uh, like that uh, that old saying goes, is most people don't leave bad companies; they leave bad management. That's all fine. That's well and good. But you don't want to be that person that's disparaging their their previous employer because those are the types of things that your hiring manager will remember. When they're sitting down to have that that debrief meeting about the interview about you, they're going to think like, oh, well, he did say a lot of things about his previous company. And, and maybe maybe that uh, that team knows people that work there. Right. Maybe the hiring manager used to work there. And they're like, well, they're bad mouthing the, the company. And I don't think it was that bad or some of the stories that they told me about why they didn't like their previous employer. I don't think it was that bad. And I think we may have some of that those same personalities here. So you just want to kind of be careful, right? So just just don't do that. Be positive. Say things like, hey, you know, it was just time for me to to grow in my career. It was time for a change. And uh, I'm just looking for the next opportunity. If they ask those specific questions about, you know, why why you left your previous employer. Hey, so uh, little mama just woke up from her nap, <laughs> interrupted my video. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Okay. Go get mommy. <clears throat> um, you want to make sure you bring your personality with you, right? Be charismatic. Be who you are. So you want to make sure that you set yourself apart what from the is other interviewers. This down here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you want to make sure that that you your personality sets you apart from from the other interviewers or interviewees. I'm sorry. So bring it with you. Uh, tell stories about your life. Tell stories about your life experiences. Tell the thing. Tell positive stories about your previous employer and things that you that you like to do. Uh, things that you found very very exciting. Uh, things that you that you do outside of work. Um, you know, maybe talk about your family a little bit if you want to get into that. Uh, just make sure that you you bring that charisma and, and you smile a lot. So just just show that you're a happy person. That that you're, you're, you appreciate the moment, that you appreciate the opportunity to even interview, that you've appreciated every opportunity that you've gotten so far in your, in your career, in your life, and just, you know, be happy. People like to work with people that are positive, that are in good mood. So if you, if you bring that smile with you and, and um, it's contagious and, and people, people see the joy in your responses, it, it definitely goes a long way, even if they don't feel like you've answered the question the right way or the way that they expected you to. It it shows that that you're still that you may be coachable that you know like you're 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 open to feedback and make sure you always say that right that you're open to feedback and constructive criticism and that stuff but if you say that with a smile it's more believable so just make sure you're always positive make sure you're smiling and and uh, you bring that that charisma to the interview and those are some of the 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 big things I think are 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 very important to to having a successful interview. So if, if you want any specific advice for a specific technical role or a leadership role that you're, that you're looking to interview for soon or that you are looking to kind of uh, maybe need some advice on what you should do to, to transition into that role or to help you transition, um, let me know. Uh, please comment if there's anything I'm missing. Uh, let me know. And just remember to uh, always fake it until you make it, right? You may not be confident, but you can... You can appear confident, even though in the inside you may be like, oh my gosh, uh, that's fine. So please subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.